Welcome to Spirit and Life, a time of power from God's Word. I am Bishop Ayodwayo, your host. We are currently uh, looking at the benefits of following the shepherd from Psalm 23. Uh, David in this psalm, he declared, you know, the Lord as his shepherd. And he began to show us you know, tremendous benefits that come from making the Lord your shepherd. From verses 1 to 3, uh, he mentioned five benefits of following the Lord as his shepherd. And those benefits are real to us today. And this is what we have been talking about. Uh, today, I would like us to go on to verse number 4. To see the number six benefit of following the shepherd. I'm going to read from the New International Version of the Bible, Psalm 23, verse 4. It says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. I'm going to stop there. And I'm speaking to us on the sixth benefit of following the shepherd, which is you will fear no evil. What David is saying here is that when the Lord is your shepherd, when you trust him, when you obey him, then you will not fear any evil. No matter what is happening to you, no matter what is happening around you, no matter where you find yourself, whether in the valley of the shadow of death, no matter the circumstances around, you will not fear for any evil. And the reason is clear from this scripture of why you will not fear. He said, because the Lord is with you. Beloved, I want you to know that he will always be with you in all situations and in every place where you may find yourself. Shepherds are always there. They are always close by, always around the sheep. And therefore, the sheep has no reason to fear. And at a time like this, when the world is under serious pressure of sickness, of death, from infection, uh, at a time of this global pandemic, when there is, you know, loss, all kinds of losses, financial losses, where the economy of nations, of states, of individuals have collapsed. I want you to understand, like as a shepherd, God is with you. In Psalm 46 verse 1, we know that he is our refuge and he is a very present help in time of trouble. So even at this time, our shepherd is with us and is available to help us. This is the inheritance of those who follow him as their shepherd. He himself also said in Hebrews 13 verse 5, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What a benefit. God is with you even if you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He is with you. In difficult circumstances of life, he is with you. He is a very present help who will never leave you nor forsake those who love him and trust him. When you understand this, then you have no reason to fear. He is there to ward off evil. He is there to give you victory over evil. The Lord is my shepherd. I will fear no evil. Now, we have his word and we have his promises for victory over evil. And uh, we have very strong reasons not to fear. In Psalm 91, Psalm 91, at verses 9 and 10, the scripture says, 
because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. What reward? Because he is your refuge, no evil shall befall you. And then you can say confidently, the Lord is my shepherd. I will fear no evil. Now we have a strong assurance from the word of God that drives fear away. And that should keep all forms of fear away from you. I shall not fear. Because I have made the Lord my refuge and my habitation. That's what you should be saying. I shall not fear. Because the Lord is my refuge. He is my habitation. It's time to tell fear to get out of your life. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Because the Lord is your refuge. Because the Lord is your habitation. It's time to tell fear that you have God's promises for victory. You have God's uncompromising word of his divine presence with you and of his protection over your life. Your declaration should be the Lord is with me so I fear no evil and no evil shall befall me. Now David understood how to deal with fear because he knew how to walk as a shepherd. I'd like to remind you that even when he was a shepherd, the scripture tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 17 that David said when the bear came, he went after it. When the lion came to take the sheep, he went after the lion. He tore the lion and he tore the bear. So the sheep had no reason to fear. David understands that when, whether a bear or a lion comes near the sheep, the shepherd is there to defend, to protect. I want you to know that the Lord is your shepherd. That's why David in Psalm 27, from verse 1 to 3, he says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When God is your shepherd, you have no want to fear. You have no reason to fear. He said, The Lord is the strength of my life. When the shepherd is the strength of your own life, or whom shall I be afraid? Beloved, you have no reason to fear, to fear anyone. David says in verse 2 that when the enemy, the wicked, came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. And so when the Lord is your shepherd, whatever comes against you will crumble before you. Hallelujah. It says in verse 3, though an army may encamp against me, it says, my heart shall not fear. I want you to know that there is no reason for you to fear because the Lord is your shepherd. Whatever the host that is camping against you, they will fall before you. Hallelujah. The Lord is our shepherd. The shepherd is there to protect the sheep, to defend the sheep, to fight for the sheep. The Lord is there to protect you, is there to defend you, is there to guard you. And no evil shall befall you. Uh, today, I want you to pray over this declaration. Number one, that the Lord is your shepherd and will always be your shepherd. Number two, I want you to declare and to pray over it that you will not fear any evil because the Lord is with you. Number three, I want you to declare that no evil shall befall you because the Lord is your shepherd. And I want you to declare, and I declare it also to you, that a thousand may fall by your side, ten thousand by your right side, but it will not come near you. I rebuke every spirit of fear that is in you, that is in your life today in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you will come out of this present situation because the Lord is your shepherd in the name of Jesus. I want you to say after me, the Lord is my shepherd. I will fear no evil. No evil shall befall me. A thousand may fall by my side, ten thousand by my right side. It will not come near me. I want you to declare after me, the Lord is my light and my salvation. There is no one to fear and I shall not be afraid. I proclaim victory for you in your current situation. You have no reason to fear. You shall not fear. You shall be victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. 